In this video, I'm gonna show you how to find money or high intent keyword opportunities using subfolder analysis. And this approach to keyword research can help you cut through all the noise and drill in immediately to only those most high value keyword opportunities. And the beauty is you can apply to any type of business, whether you're an affiliate website, local service company, e-commerce store, or even a SaaS business. Now I'm gonna be walking through a number of working examples in this video, so you can take the training and immediately apply it in your business. So let's dive in. I'll be using SEMrush in this video to illustrate the keyword research process. If you want to, you can grab a 30 day free trial of SEMrush using the link in the description below this video. Otherwise you can pretty much replicate the exact same steps in other popular tools like Ahrefs. And the first one here, we're gonna start with the local business model. And we're gonna use this Dolman Law Group website just as an example. Disclaimer, I have no affiliation with this company. I'm just using it as an example to illustrate. So as we hover over the main navigation here, we can see typically local service businesses are gonna have their most important content housed under some sort of service dropdown, which you can see here for this website, I can notice if I just click through to say the trucking accidents page, I can see up at the top that all these service pages are housed conveniently off of this legal services directory. So if I'm a competitor of theirs, what I'll, all I would need to do is just grab the URL, including that subfolder, since we know this is where their most valuable content is gonna be housed. And then I'll come over here into the SEMrush SEO toolkit and come down to the organic research report. And then what you're gonna do is just drop in that URL with the subfolder. Make sure you've got subfolder selected from the dropdown and hit search. And now what you're gonna be able to do here is click across to this pages report and it's gonna show you all of the pages or URLs in that specific subfolder that are driving the most organic traffic to the website. So immediately I can see here that they've got this service page, truck accident attorneys, it's driving around 4,000 organic visits a month to the website, and it's ranking for 137 different keywords. Similarly, I can see brain injury attorneys drives almost 3,000 visits to the site, and then other topics like spinal cord injury attorneys, medical malpractice attorneys, and then even some defective medication attorney type keywords with Risperdal and Zithromax. And there's a bunch of keyword opportunities in here. And anyone searching for these is gonna have a high degree of intent. And this, these are the types of pages that can drive a lot of uh, leads and opportunities for this business. So this is a great place to start for them. Now, what I can do too, if I wanna see all the different keywords, I can just simply click over here on the keywords link next to a given URL. And what it's gonna do is bring me to this positions report here for this specific URL. And I can see that in this case with Dolman Law Group, they've got 137 different keywords that the truck accident attorney page is ranking for. And I can see the volume, where they're currently ranking, difficulty, and a few other metrics here. Now I scroll down, this is great because when it comes to creating a similar service page on a website, if I was a competitor, I could look and make sure I'm including a lot of these different variations of the primary keyword, as well as any other variations in here, like semi-truck accident attorney, truck crash lawyer. And as we scroll down to even things like commercial truck accident or even big rig accident attorney. So these wouldn't be keywords that you would necessarily immediately think of when looking at truck accident lawyer, but by weaving those all in, we can have one URL that ranks for all of these different keyword variations that brings that high intent traffic to the website. And one of the favorite things I like here about SEMrush is rather than having to export keywords and jump around between different reports, all you need to do here is just click the little plus icon next to keywords that you like, and then add them to the keyword list. So you can go through and analyze a bunch of different competitors and build a master keyword list directly inside the application. And then only once you're done with your research, you can then just export that aggregated list for further analysis and reporting. Okay, the next type of business that you could apply this strategy to is e-commerce stores. And naturally your most valuable keywords are likely gonna be related to different product names or categories. So an example here to illustrate is traffic safety store. Now I can hover over the links here in the left navigation. And while they don't necessarily have a main products folder, they do have all of their categories of products nested here. So I can see for uh, traffic cones, if I open this page here, I got this traffic cone subfolder and then as I hover over different products, I can see in the bottom left of the screen that all of them are actually nested and housed off of that main traffic cone subfolder. 
So similar to the previous example, I would just grab this traffic cone subfolder if I'm interested in just that product category for now. And then I would come over into the SEO toolkit again, organic research report, and I'll just drop that subfolder URL in, make sure subfolder is selected. And then you can click through to the positions tab again and see that this specific subfolder on the side is ranking for about 800 keywords, collectively bringing in over 12,000 organic visits to the site. And the traffic cost of that, if we were to bid on it in Google ads is over 25,000. So a lot of high intent keywords in here, but I'm more interested in just getting kind of a good top level view of which pages are driving the most organic traffic within this directory. So I can see obviously the main traffic cones directory page bringing in around 11,000 visits a month. Uh, that's, that's the biggest one. But then as we scroll down, while they don't have massive traffic, there's a lot of pages in here like orange economy six, collapsible light up traffic cones, colored light up cones, grabber cones, like things that I probably never would have thought of that could be potentially really good keywords or product pages that I could build out on, on my e-commerce store. Now, another example here is, let's just say you're selling beard products. A huge player in this space is beardbrand.com. If I come to their website, I can see up here in the top right corner that they have this shopping directory. Now I can see here that beard brand in the organic research report here, looking at the overview, the domain overall ranks for 46,800 different keywords, bringing in over 160,000 uh, visits to the site. And if I look at the pages count, in here, I can see that it's actually quite a large website because they have a really extensive blog built out as well. And you'll see here, they've got 761 pages. Now this is a lot to analyze. So when it comes to cutting through the noise, this is where we can use those subfolders again. Now, if I'm back here on their product page, as I hover over all these different products, or even if I click through to one, what you're gonna notice is conveniently, this website actually has all of their products housed underneath of the product subfolder. So I'll just grab that subfolder with products again, organic research report, drop it in, make sure subfolder is selected. Now I can see this specific product subfolder ranks for around 1100 keywords, bringing in about 5,000 organic visits to the site. Now, if I click through here to the pages tab, I can see 43 pages in this directory bringing organic traffic. Number one is the beard oil product page. And again, you can click through also directly from inside SEMrush to view these pages, brings in around 1400 organic visits. And then as I scroll down, I can see things like mustache wax, beard softener, sea salt spray, beard brushes, combs, utility balms, lots of different potential product page opportunities if I was competing in this space. All right, so next up, let's pretend that you have an affiliate website that's promoting uh, uh, different coffee related products. Now you could look at other affiliate coffee sites in, the, in that niche to see what's bringing in the most traffic. You could even come to a really large affiliate player like this, like Wirecutter. I can come in here and, and you basically wanna see where are they housing all of their best of type content because as an affiliate, this is the type of stuff that is gonna be most valuable to your business. So I can see here things like best instant photo printer or the best Android phones. All of these are actually housed inside of this wire cutter reviews subfolder. So what I would do is I would simply come over to the wire cutter side. I would drop in that wire cutter review subfolder there since I know that's where all of their best of affiliate based review content is gonna be housed. But immediately I can see, wow, this directory ranks for 2.9 million keywords, right? So that is, we would never want to go through that. And because we're only interested in the coffee niche, we want to be able to drill down and, and look only at those specific keywords. So in addition to subfolder analysis, another thing that you can do here as well is layer on different keyword modifiers. So inside of SEMrush in this example, we'll just click advanced filter, include keyword containing. And again, if we're using our coffee site as an example here, we would do anything containing coffee or any other secondary keyword variations, terms that describe your niche. You'll just drop them in here, click apply, and this is gonna filter out and only pull in the keywords that are related to coffee inside of this review subfolder. So there's still 20,000 keywords. If I wanted to trim this further, I could apply some vo minimum volume filters, maybe even an intent filter. So only those with transactional or commercial intent. And then what I would do is just scroll down the list here and you can immediately see things like best coffee grinder. Then I can see Burr coffee grinder, uh, Bonavita coffee maker. Uh, there's just a bunch of keywords in here that at 
just off the top of my head, I never would have thought of, uh, but it's just a gold mine of potential best of affiliate based content specific to coffee that I could build out on my website. Now, one other thing here is SEMrush does give you a keyword difficulty filter. You can see the percentages. They'll tell you whether it's very hard, hard, difficult, possible, easy, or very easy. If you're just starting out and you want to look at relatively low competition keyword opportunities in this, maybe you only want to go with, you know, set a range where you only want to look at up to like the easy ones, right? So in this case, it's zero to 29%. I put my max value at 29 here and then click apply. So now I'm looking at all of the affiliate based terms in the review folder that are related to coffee that have really low comp or relatively low competition. So now when I scroll down, I'm looking for anything in here, like best, uh, best pour over coffee maker with thermal carafe. Like that is super specific. It's 50 searches, but it's relatively low competition. And then I just scroll down the list and look for more. And then, you know, you can uh, adjust that as needed to find more opportunities. But it just shows like a tool like SEMrush or, or some of the other big players, you can, you can apply those additional filters to, to just drill in to the most realistic high value opportunities. Now, maybe you're working on the keyword strategy for a SaaS website in the CRM space. So what you could do is you could enter a competitor like Copper CRM. I can see here in the main navigation, if I click industries, all of these different industry URLs are housed under an industry subfolder. So they're probably targeting things like agency CRM, real estate CRM, corporate CRM, things like that. So the industries folder is definitely one I would take a look at if I was a competitor. Then when I scroll down to the features section here, I can see this see all features link. Now, when I click through to that, I can see that it links out to all of these individual feature pages, which when I click through to those, I can see are all also housed off of the features subfolder. So what I'll do is I'll just grab that features URL, drop it back into the organic research report, scroll down on the positions here or the top pages, and I'll start to look at things like CRM task management, pipeline management software, email tracking, these different types of topics that I could potentially build out relevant feature-based pages on my site. Now, one bonus tactic I wanna share with you real quickly is applying this same subfolder analysis approach to finding high value existing keyword opportunities on your own site. And specifically what I mean by that is going in and filtering out all of the keywords you already have ranking in the top, say four to 15 positions. So bottom of page one, top of page two, that you could potentially move into the top three or five positions. And the thinking here is not only you're gonna get more organic traffic to your site by surfacing these, but because they're the highest value opportunities, you're gonna probably also drive a lot more conversions, whether that's leads, direct sales, or even affiliate commissions. So you use the same methodology here. If we come back to our Dolman Law example, I just use their legal services subfolder. So if I was that business in this specific uh, use case, I would just come in again to the organic research positions report. But this time, what I would do is I would come into the positions filter and then I would set it to positions four to 15. So ranking bottom page one, top of page two. If you have a lot of keywords to work with, maybe you set it to a shorter filter like four to 10, but for now I'll just go four to 15. So now what I can see is I can see 160 keywords that this particular site has ranking in positions four to 15 within this high intent directory. Now there's gonna be some overlapping keywords, but you're just gonna to wanna to get a general sense of which pages or topics you have opportunity to optimize and move higher. So straight away truck accident lawyer, like they're on the first page, but they could still move it higher. And this is gonna drive a lot more traffic to that page that's already getting a decent amount of traffic like we saw earlier. Uh, their traumatic brain injury attorney page, that's another one, spinal cord injury attorney page. So these are all ones where there's still room for improvement for them. So you know, if, if I was looking at their SEO strategy, these are definitely areas where I'd potentially be looking to, to try and improve and get those quick gains. And now just one final point here too, is if you wanna scale this strategy, like let's just say that you wanna analyze the subfolders of a number of competitors all in one go and build a large list of high value keyword targets. Now, ideally you don't, you don't wanna go through and analyze each competitor one by one. Instead, what you can do here in the SEMrush keyword gap tool is just simply once you've collected two, three, 
four or five of those subfolders for your competitors. You just drop your domain in here. And then what you'll do is drop each of those different competitor subfolders. You can do up to four in here. And then what you do is you'll drop it in, select your subfolder or wherever that most important content is housed for each of the competitors. Make sure you've got organic keywords selected underneath each one and then just hit compare. And what that is gonna do then is generate a report that'll show you all of the keywords all of your competitors have ranking in their high value subfolders that your website currently isn't so that you can go through and cherry pick all those untapped opportunities and scale this process across a number of different sites. So there's a few examples of how you can use subfolder analysis to cut through all the noise and drill into only the most high value keyword opportunities, whether you're working with a local service company, affiliate website, or an e-commerce business. And if you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and let me know in the comments below how you plan to apply some of these tactics in your business. I'll see you in the next video.